Instead of paying $365 to dine at 11 Madison Park, you could have this three Michelin star hamachi dish for $7.56 per portion at home. For the lemon oil, zest five lemons into a saucepan, then cover with four ounces of a neutral flavored oil. I'm using grapeseed oil. Slowly bring up to 160 degrees Fahrenheit, then pour into a jar and cover with a lid. Set a towel on the bottom of the pot and place in the jar. Fill three-fourths of the way up the side of the jar with the water and simmer for 90 minutes. Cool at room temperature with the lid off. Then cover and refrigerate overnight. So you can use coffee filters, but what I prefer is these linen likes because they fit down in the bottom of a round strainer and allows it to filter faster. This oil will last up to one month in the fridge before losing flavor or three to four months in the freezer. For the Meyer lemon puree, peel three Meyer lemons. Then use a paring knife to remove any pith, which can be bitter. Juice the lemons using a strainer to remove any seeds. To a pan, add the zest and cover with water. Bring to a low simmer and strain. Then repeat the process two more times. Blanching the zest will help remove any of the bitterness and will also help make the zest tender. Place the blanched zest back in a pot and add two ounces of sugar with four ounces of water. Cook at a low simmer till tender, about 45 minutes. Strain off the liquid, then puree the zest with 24 grams of the cooking liquid in a blender. Add in 24 grams of lemon juice, reserving the rest. Then, add 14 grams of water and blend until smooth. Add in four grams of butter. Fat will help make any puree smooth. Then season with kosher salt and reserve off to the side. For the garlic horseradish puree, coat a head of garlic and olive oil. Then wrap in foil and roast at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour. Allow the garlic to cool. The book says to peel the cloves individually, but I found it to be more efficient to squeeze out the garlic than pass it. Peel and quarter inch dice 35 grams of horseradish and add to a blender. This puree won't work unless it's the perfect dice. Just kidding, that's just a joke you play on your comey. And add in the roasted garlic puree and 24 grams of white soy sauce. Stream in 28 grams of extra virgin olive oil, pass and reserve off to the side. Add two ounces of Meyer lemon juice, fourth of a Meyer lemon zested, one ounce of white soy sauce, and a pinch of xanthan gum. Blend together, then stream in two ounces of extra virgin olive oil. So what does xanthan gum do? First off, it'll help thicken any liquid, but more importantly for the vinaigrette, it'll help keep it emulsified. For the fennel, start by separating the bulb from the stalk and the fronds. Trim the bottom and quarter the bulb. Trim the top at an angle. Slice the fennel root first, which will help keep the pieces intact and be sure to slice as thin as possible while still keeping the slices whole. You will need three of these per person for a total of 12. Pick 20 of the best fronds you can. It's worth it to go slow on this part so that you don't have to pick through garbage when it's time to plate. Store in ice water. Last, trim up the stalks so that you have the middle pieces. Then, over your container, shave the stalks at the same setting as the bowl. You will need 20 of these slices. For the hamachi, the recipe says to get a piece from the back loin, but I could only find a piece from the belly loin. Belly is the best part of the fish, and I'll be posting a video next Sunday on how to use it up. When you don't have a tailpiece to use, the easiest way to remove the skin is to slice the fish in half. And before getting to the skin, rotate the knife to be flat with the skin and wiggle out. Then repeat on the opposite side. It also makes it easier if you properly secure your cutting board. The fish will look a lot nicer if you round off any straight cuts, which will make great chef snacks. Then you will want to trim off some of the bloodline, but since the flavor of hamachi is so mild, leaving some on helps. Slice the fish a quarter of an inch thick with single stroke slices. Then lay your slices on a tray. You will need three slices per portion. Brush each piece with some of the lemon oil and finish with fleur de sel. To plate, first start by dressing the fennel with some of the lemon white soy vinaigrette. Spread the Meyer lemon puree with the back of an offset. Then arrange three slices of the fish with a bloodline facing away from you. It just looks better. Lay down three dressed slices of the fennel bulb with five slices of the stock. Add a soft quenelle of the horseradish puree and five fennel fronds. Tasting notes are in the comment section. Watch this next to see the French Laundry's $4 annualities.